Ajumani district is home to the Madi people of northern Uganda. The area has a rich history of battles and conquests by the Turkish, British and German explorers in the early 19th century. The society is organized in chiefdoms headed by hereditary chiefs known locally as Opi. The Madi still cherish their traditional values and culture to this day. We are very proud as Madis because our history, not just in Africa, globally, through the civilization, iron smelting and all, all so on and so forth, we have contributed a lot. And this tree yeah, is where the treaty called the treaties that were called Ajumani. This is where the name Ajumani is derived from this tree. Um, because the Aju did it. Aju is your spear. Kolumani. Let this spear become mine. The spears which are causing you to war. To, I'll take them away and they will become my spears. This was the court tree for solving disputes with the clans. But disputes are still commonplace among clan members in the district. Ajumani is a small town where everyone knows everyone. The famous and wealthy stand out from the crowd. One of the famous people I chanced upon is 18-year-old Richard O.P. Richard was born without hands, but is quite adept at using his feet to perform routine tasks. <laughs> the young man's feet can pretty much perform any task you ask him to. Is this Richard O.P.? Yes. How are you? I'm okay. His talent in drawing has earned him a lot of admiration from the locals and visitors alike. Isn't there any girl who has caught your eye? <laughs> yes. There is? Okay, yes. She likes you? Yes. Oh, that's very nice. Too. Richard, what message would you have for people with conditions like yours? Because many of them are really helpless and they resort to begging on the streets. Uh, my message to those people, they should take courage. Mm. In fact, it is not a punishment. Yes. It's an, an amazing. God is, is great, and he knows what he has created. Yeah. Richard's cheerful demeanor has apparently rubbed off on other disabled people in Ajumani, like this group of cobblers, who have made a name for themselves by living life to the fullest. Okay, well, what's your name, sir? My name is Ranya Gonkes Richard. Did you say Gonkes? Gonkes. Is, is that your nickname or your real name? My real name. It's my real name. Ah. Mr. Fuzara, tell me, are you married? Do you have any children? Yes, I'm married. I have two daughters. How many? Four. Uh -huh. mm. And your wife, is she? My, my wife is also an able body. I'm not, I cannot marry even a disabled woman. <laughs> I leave the disabled women for the others. <laughs> People with disabilities in this town have a high self-esteem and they consider it a taboo for any of them to beg on the streets. Yeah, normally in Azuma district here, we are not begging money for anybody. We are doing our own works. The catchphrase, disability is not inability, is indeed a reality for the likes of young Richard and these cobblers of a Germany town who have many other talents besides what they're doing, like these writings on their premises say, ready to get and ready to dance. These men are renowned for putting up impressive performances whenever popular musicians come to town, and one of them offered to treat us to his dance moves. A huge number of Ajumani folk are a happy-go-lucky lot who love their drink and the social gatherings that brings them together. There is too much drinking in Ajumani. From the youth to the elders, you find people drinking even in the morning. According to legend, 
the Mahdi people used to pour a little alcohol in the mouths of newly born babies as a sign of initiation into the tribe. But that rite has slowly faded away with the advent of modernity. Yeah, when the baby is born, we, we put the alcohol just to, to show him that we are, we are celebrating the easy birth. But that aside, the warm and friendly nature of the Mahdi is something that one easily notices upon visiting this place. Probably it's the sweltering heat in this district that has gotten right into their hearts. Chris Ochamringa, NTV Connect.